she was poisoned by her husband. Brian was trying to kill me to keep his comfortable life from slipping away. Emotional moments in court and a controversial sentence in Macomb County. We'll start there. Good to have you with us today on Local 4 News at 5. A Macomb man pleaded guilty to poisoning his wife and he was in court to be sentenced today. It's important to know before you hear this story that the maximum penalty for this crime is 15 years in prison. Let's bring in Jason Colthorpe for what uh, was an intense sentencing, Jason. Yeah, it sure was. And more important to note, guys, the minimum sentence guideline here was more than a year in prison. What you need to know is Brian Kozlowski and his wife were still living together but going through a divorce. It had gotten so bad, she said he actually urinated in her shampoo and conditioner bottles. But she soon learned he was also poisoning her. After 29 years together, 22 married, Brian Kozlowski's wife filed for divorce in May of 2018. Two months later, she started noticing symptoms of blurred vision and feeling very tired on days where her husband made the coffee. She even had a near crash on 375 when she dozed off at the wheel during rush hour. So she installed cameras and saw this. Her then husband mixing in the equivalent of eight sleeping pills into the coffee pot. I felt a horrible coldness in the air, as if I was being hunted by a dangerous predator. But in this nightmare, the predator was Brian. I fell to my knees and cried. I could barely move. She also revealed a chilling conversation with her daughter, who told her she too drank the coffee one morning and drove 30 minutes to work. She was able to make it to her desk, only to immediately fall asleep for two hours. Brian had successfully poisoned his own daughter and set her on a path that could have killed her that morning. Do you feel like to apologize? And then came the sentence for which the guideline was a minimum of a year and a half in prison. And if he comes back in society as a hardened criminal, what have I done? Nothing. Judge Anthony Viviano then stunned the court, sentencing Kozlowski to five years probation and 60 days in jail to be served on weekends. The people are requesting that you reconsider the sentence. A 60-day weekend sentence is a slap in the face. I'm sorry, what? The 60-day weekend-only sentence. Also, I do not let anybody speak after I issue the judgment. And that's where it ended. It's also important to know this wasn't a one-time thing. This had happened with the coffee several times. Now, Macomb County prosecutor, very upset, as you might imagine. He said this about the sentence. It's almost as though the judge is more concerned with the defendant's freedom than he is with the safety of the victim. Well, yeah. Did the judge give any indication what push for the lighter sentence? Why? You know, one of the things he said leading up to this was curious. Uh, he said anyone who tries to influence the sentence is acting improperly, which he didn't direct at anyone specifically. But yesterday, Prosecutor Eric Smith put out a press release uh, kind of demanding prison time or else they would appeal the sentence. So he kind of threw that out there. Mm -hmm. You don't know if the judge was talking to him. Don't try and push me to, to do what you want to do. And then he made the sentence. I think a lot of people would be surprised at what the maximum sentence was just 15, 15 years right. and obviously didn't get anywhere close to, to what the maximum just was. Just amazing and to hear what it did to that family. Yeah, really. Story. Yeah. All right.